So, uh, I saw the uh, video that was posted by Sinatra Says uh, maybe a week ago. Uh, I took a few days to process it. A few people have already, you know, from my community have already responded to this video that basically asked the question to use their own phrasing just so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm responding to here. So this uh, super collab between the skeptics slash shitlords slash Kekistanis slash classical liberals slash deplorables slash garbage humans slash what are the names? There's a lot of there's a lot of nicknames for that community, but they they they, they coagulate around this umbrella of being um, anti SJWs, and I think uh, you know for a few days. I just want to preface this with you know I've had lots of interactions with. Uh, Sinatra says on Facebook, and um, they've been uh, cordial. You know, I've never, I've never had um, that I can recollect any sort of a, a spat with the guy. So this, you know, it's also the reason that I didn't cut a clip from the video itself into this is because I, I, you know, I don't want to give people the impression that this is about singling out individuals in 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 that collab right because my, my perspective on this stuff is when it comes to the alt right on this channel two out of three videos if not more uh are videos about the alt right but whatever an exa whatever I examine an individual on this channel uh, usually it's because they're symptomatic of, of something broader. You know, uh, uh, very rarely do I showcase individual skeptics on here. Uh, usually I'll, I'll showcase individual alt-riders because of the moral mission of this channel is not about um, dismantling the skeptic community uh, or... or, or um, I didn't come here to defeat the shitlords. Now, one of the big grievances in the video is that people in the social justice community don't cover um, the alt-right enough. I think that is not entirely accurate, number one. And number two, it, it disregards the fact that maybe more than 50% of the criticism of the Sargonites, more than 50% of the criticism levied by members of the social justice community against members of the anti-social justice community involve them facilitating the alt-right, uh, and I'm not saying this applies to the same extent to every single person in, in the anti-SJW community, but I'm saying that part of criticizing the alt-right because of the way that the alt-right spreads their ideas, because of the way that fascists spread their ideas, usually fascists, historically, um, will let you do their dirty work for them. They cannot be open about their intentions. They always talk about um, hidden power levels. In order for fascists to take power, they need to, if they cannot take power in a proper coup, they cannot take power by force because they're not strong enough yet, because they haven't gathered enough popular support or have not 
attained enough military power to quash uh, popular uh, dissent. They use liberals, in this case, uh, classical liberals. And you've heard Sargon talk about classical liberalism before. Um, in, in this case, we're not talking about American FDR style liberalism. We're talking about like the European fundamental form of, of liberalism, which was preserve the existing order, preserve stability at all costs. Uh, you know, liberalism in the American sense has something to do with uh, like a generous welfare state and, you know, uh, especially post New Deal, the term American liberalism applies to basically like Keynesian economics. Classical liberalism in the, in, in the way that it's, it's intended is a form of conservatism on the American political spectrum. If you're considering the American, American political spectrum, someone like Thomas Sowell, Sowell Sowell, or Alex Jones, or Dave Rubin, um, would, would self-identify as a classical liberal. So, you know, ostensibly in the American sense these are these are conservatives if you go to europe the term liberal usually applies to right wing center right ideologies which i think is is more or less uh you know if you if you put the shitlords on the european political spectrum if you put the sargonites on the european political spectrum they're ostensibly um center right but i digress Nazis always uh, have, you know, a place in the conversation where um, they present unreasonable things in reasonable terms. They um, act as provocateurs within other movements. The skeptics have had this problem over and over and over again. The anti-SJWs have have had to purge covert alt-riders, undercover fascists. Recently, they had uh, Malfi Buddha uh, make a bunch of uh, very sympathetic Hitler videos. Hitler, you know, was Hitler that bad? So, just because we are pressing people who defend the rights of the alt-right doesn't mean we're not pressing the alt-right. It, 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 it means that um, when you confront an enemy, you also need to confront the people that enable them, uh, knowingly or unknowingly, uh, deliberately or not, um, and some people in the community um, have admitted that they they uh, handled the alt right with too much of a soft a soft touch in the anti SJW community. But let me tell you, as long as you define yourself self as an anti SJW above anything else, you will be in coalition with the alt right whether you want to or not. Because when the shit hits the fan, you have a mutual energy. Uh, excuse me, a mutual enemy. And that, that will always, number one, bring you back into um, coalition with those people. And it will also allow those people to slit, slide into your community over and over and over again. Because they speak the same language that you, the la that you do. The language of anti-SJWism creates a smokescreen into which... You hate feminists, I hate feminists. You hate Black Lives Matter, I hate Black Lives Matter. You hate, uh, you know, 
liberal uh, liberal media. I hate liberal media, but like in parentheses, you feel, you feel where I'm coming from. So uh, what I what I can't comprehend about the framing of the video is there's even in the title of this massive collaboration is a poisoning of the well. Why does the cult of SJWs hate anti-SJWs? You're literally insulting our community in the title of the video and then after the insult, why you hate me? Why you hate me? I don't know about hate, but um, I know that we're very irritated with the anti-SJWs. I know that we're very frustrated by the fact that it's difficult for us to parse your arguments out from the alt-right, um, from the alt-right's arguments against us. I don't think that the reason that the alt-right is against feminism is any different than the reason that Sargonites are against feminism. I don't think that the reason that... Man, you gotta split some hairs here. But I, I would dare to say that um, the reason that the alt-right is against Black Lives Matter is very, very close to the reason that... Uh, the shitlords are against Black Lives Matter. I just think that uh, the shitlords can't say it to themselves uh, out loud why they have a problem with Black Lives Matter. Uh, that's the old uppity Negro uh, problem of know your place, shut your mouth. Um, you know, but the shitlords happen to have black friends, so they go, oh well, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spell it out like that, but I'm gonna you know I'm going to say that it's um, because they're whiny crybabies. You know, instead of using agitator or uppity. But that's again, I guess I'm, I guess I'm starting to like assume bad faith. Um. So what else did I want to add? This is probably gonna be a little longer than usual, but you know, I wanted to get a lot of my thoughts on this subject out. So, uh, I define myself as an anti-fascist. I own it online. Uh, I've been an outspoken anti-fascist. It's a component of my personal political philosophy uh, as a red and black anarchist, as an anarcho-communist. Um, I am militantly anti-fascist. And I don't get frustrated or, or bent out of shape when fascists are mad at me. When Millennial Wolves blocked me on Twitter, I didn't get mad. When Terry McCarthy blocked me on Twitter, I didn't get mad because I define myself by my opposition to fascism. If you define yourself by your opposition to social justice, um, I wonder how it is that you could need like 90 minutes and a two-part video to have like this suppositional conversation about why SJWs hate us. You know, and I, I've never, it's funny because, you know, I'm in those circles. I'm, I'm in, in the circles of social justice and I haven't really, I can't remember off the top of my head a time where somebody was like, you know who I hate? I, I you know, I don't know if it's projection or what's going on, but I, I don't remember in the most passionate of arguments people in my community turning to me and go, I hate this person, this individual. Now, they'll talk about hating how someone does something. They'll talk about hating the repercussions of what someone has done, but no one's ever turned to me and go, I hate that, you know, fill in the blank anti-SJW. But again, you know, like, why are you shocked? 